Welcome to the OpsLogic Capacity Management Pack for System Center Operation Manager 2007. Capacity management is a process used to manage information technology. Its primary goal is to ensure that IT capacity meets current and future business requirements in a cost-effective manner. The Capacity Management Pack for System Center Operation Manager uses a proven mathematical method to predict if the performance and capacity of systems stay within acceptable ranges, also called thresholds. It analyzes the past six months to predict the behavior for the next six months by providing trends in the data. The capacity management solution from OpsLogix uses data from the System Center Operation Manager data warehouse together with SQL technology to forecast and trend on capacity. Here you can see a technical overview of the solution. We use the Operation Manager data warehouse to get a predefined performance data and copy this data to our own Operation Manager System Intelligence database. Our reports use the Operation Manager System Intelligence Database to analysis the trends. If you want, you can also distribute our reports by email or by Windows File Share. In this presentation, we already installed the Oplogic Capacity Management Pack and creating a simple distributed application with a few Operation Manager objects. Here you can see the distributed application with a database and a logical disk. We use a simple SQL job to gather the required performance data of our distributed application to make the analysis. By default, the SQL job will gather data every first day of the month. You can adjust the schedule if you like. The next step is to set the critical and warning thresholds for the specific objects. In our example, this is a database and a logical disk. When we go to reporting, we can open the in-control capacity management folder and run the service capacity measures and thresholds report. This report will help me to set the thresholds. I run the report and I will see all critical and warning values. I can export this report to Microsoft Excel and code to the service owner of the distributed application to let them set the critical and warning values. When the service owner has specified the necessary critical values and warning values, I can go to the graphical user interface of the OpsLogic Capacity Management Pack. Here you will find the Threshold Configurator. Here you can specify all critical and warning values for each object. In this presentation, I only use two counters of a specific object. These are the percentage free space of a logical disk and the total free space percentage of an SQL database and so I exclude all the objects except those two. I save the settings and now I can run the report. Because the SQL agent job already run together the necessary data from the Operation Manager Data Warehouse to our own database. I can go now to the specific report, Service Capacity, and run this report. When I open this report, I only have to select the distributed application and the calculation date. In this presentation, I only have one calculation date of this day. When I run the report, I will get a service capacity report. Here you can see the state per measure 
and also we can see the database services the current uses and the forecast trend per measure for the database total free space and for the free space of the logical disk this ends the presentation of the OpsLogic capacity management pack for more information you can go to the OpsLogic website www.opslogic.com thank you for your time